welcome to my first LP. It's going to be of uh, Civilization Revolution. I bought this game a couple weeks ago and I had a lot of fun with it and I decided to do an LP. So uh, here we go. And remember to click on the HD button because, you know, I have a pause now. So click on it. Uh, so this game says turn-based RTS. I plan on winning in technological victory. I've never done it before. So you never know, I might change mid middle. I'm not gonna go on king because I just don't think I'll be able to do that. So I'll go on warlord. So I will choose not the Arabs, not the Russians. I will choose the Greeks. If you want to go for cultural, I would choose the Romans because industrial they got a lot of great people, and medieval they have one half cost wonders. And if you want to go for technological, the Greeks are probably the best because they get a courthouse. And they uh, that allows more workspace, which means you can get um, more science spaces or whatever you want, production spaces, in case you uh, make the Apollo Wonder at the end. They also get half-cost library, and they also get the trireme, which will allow you to, sco to discover the lost city of Atlantis quickly. Um, as a, the Spanish, I guess you could go with economic, maybe, because they get explorers cast doubled, exploration cast doubled, and I'm skipping all the ones that are just balanced and I really don't like. Like the gr the uh, these guys, they don't get that. Um, they don't have that much. They you can't win with them that easily. They're more balanced, which I guess you could do domination. Germans, you can do domination because they uh, automatically upgrade for elite units. They get all those modern day very powerful units and they all get new warriors or veterans so that uh, increases their base attack by 50 percent and they get half cost barracks in the industrial era the russians not that great chinese i guess you could do technological with them but it's a bit harder uh lincoln i would go with a uh, domination it's pretty hard to do to win with them. Japanese, eh. I guess you could win cultural because of ceremonial burial. Um, I don't know. These guys are weird. Same with these guys. I have no idea. Cultural because of religion. Domination. These guys are great for domination because you can, um, you get to, what am I saying? Oh, everything heals after a combat victory, which means you don't take because usually you can lose units and you'll have to wait another turn to heal. So this will work. You can also win with economic victory, which I've done um, with on King. Because you get 50% gold pr production, half price roads, which help your trade. And you start with 25 gold, which I guess is okay But at the beginning of the game. I don't know what to do with a Zulu. I guess because of the overrun combat advantage. Duh, bleh. Domination, I'm guessing. Uh, no, these guys are bad because if you get barbarian villagers, they just get taken over. I've done that before. The English, I don't know. I'm guessing. I have no idea. So I'm gonna go all the way back to my friend spamming me right now. So, uh, oh, whoops, skipped him. And here's Alexander of the Greeks. We'll try to do a technological victory with him, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, stay tuned for these. I'm going to be doing all these at one time, so uh, I guess I'll upload them periodically at intervals. I uh, hope you guys like it. It will start loading, stop loading soon. Yep, new age. You can... I'll probably raise the auto level. Nah, I won't. Thank you. Nah, I'm just gonna skip this right now. Uh, hmm. Oop, nope, bad idea. I have to wait another turn because I moved twice. Everybody has an, uh, like a speed or a move set. So I'm gonna found, find my city here. And my friend's sending me a message. You know, I'll just check it. I have enough time. It's probably a voice message if it is. No, I can't. I'm not going to chat because I'm playing. Uh, I should probably tell him. Yep. Oh, forgot something. Um, you could manage your workers, like pr control what they do. I like starting just with science, and usually 
Ooh, actually no, we want to start with production, or balanced. So you can, um, build a warrior really quickly. Then you can go out and explore. But, uh, I'm gonna research a new technology. Because it usually just gives you that later. I would research alphabet first, because then you can build a library which doubles your science. So, end in the turn, waiting for my hoplites to be completed. And I'm not researching anything, because I get plus zero per turn. So I also get plus everything zero. So, these guys don't have that great attack, so I'm gonna hit, uh, make them defend. So I'm gonna make a warrior. They're just gonna defend my city from, you know, random people if they wanna attack me. So I got a population increase, so I get science now, which means I get plus three science. So, in seven turns, I'll complete my alphabet and I'll be able to make a library. So now I just wait. And now I get a warrior, so I'm going to move him out, mm, let's see, this way, right up. It looks like there's a river there that I might be able to name and get money from it. Okay, I got it, the Olympus River, let's name it that, I like it. And I found some barbarians. These are the middle difficulty barbarians. Uh, there's Grey Wolf, which are the harder ones, and Norte Chico, who is the easiest ones. They use blowguns. These guys are Scottish. So I'm going to attack them. Uh, because I'm... Actually, I'm going to move here. Oops. Oops. No, no, no. Activate. Actually, I'm going to move. Okay, apparently I can't activate my unit. That was a waste of a turn. Great. So now that I can build a, uh, hmm. do that because then you, I think you discover, okay, I'll make one more. Um, I'm going to build a building and I'm going to build a library. So I'm building a library. I'm going to move my warrior here because one, I loot, uh, I lost, I had, um, how do I explain it? I had a negative 50% because of rivers. Which means I don't get... See, look, I get Hill now and Warlord because I'm playing on a lower than King difficulty. And since they're uncivilized, they lose 50%. So Hills give you plus 50% of your basic attack. If you're playing on Warlord or Chieftain, you get plus 50% any again. Then uh, Rivers give you minus 50. And if you're defending from a forest, it gives you plus 50. So uh, let's just attack these guys. Yes. So I just won. Nobody lost any health or anything. So I don't have to heal them. I'm sorry if you hear something in the background, you know. Like the TVs. Okay. And I didn't take any damage that time. If I ever take damage, not being egotistical or whatever. Oh, and these guys give you... Uh, horsemen's or something. They give you special things. So they can give you caravans, settlers... Or, um, like other things that once I've gotten spies. So, I'm looking for a new civilization. Because these are Thebes and I really don't want to attack anybody. Oh, look. These guys are friendly villages, which, uh, they allow, they give you, like, presents and stuff. They give you gold and sometimes they give you technology. So, uh, what was the point of that? Here we go. I got a hoplite. They're defending the city. Uh, nope. Here we go. So, like, I got... A spy, which lets me go. They can do sneaky things, as said by uh, the guy. If you're just doing play now, In Norte Chico. These are the guys that are really easy to kill. They're the worst. So I plan on attacking from that grass patch there, right next to him there. So I'm gonna start moving him over there. And this spy, I'm just gonna move him back to my city or her, so we can defend my city from spies. Um, the Akara server, that's funny. Not really funny, but you know, sort of ironic, I guess. Because Akaris fell into the ocean and drowned because he flew too high, close to the sun. Oh, barbarians, wait, wait. Yes, bye, you move, you sneak around, you run like that. No, no, I did not want you to do that. Eh, whatever. So let's explore this way. Ooh, the Asian grassland. Now I will start naming these eventually. Like my cities, I'm gonna name, like, random things. Oh, what? <laughs> it's funny, because they just, they don't even have, like, enough attack to take me out. Oh, and every three victories, you get a, oh, wow, this is coming to an end. So, next time, 
I might attack these guys. I probably will. I will attack them. Definitely. But I'll continue what I was saying next time. And, uh, I'm just gonna save the game. So, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Uh, stay tuned. It'll come out in a couple days. Whatever. Have fun. Do whatever you do. Rate, so comment, subscribe, or thumbs up, or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, bye?